This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. All right, no, I'm, I'm standing here with uh, State Rep Susan Emerson of uh, Cheshire County area? Cheshire or, County, District 11. You know, here in New Hampshire, and um, I've known you off and on for, you know, a few years. Twelve years. I'm glad you haven't forgotten me. I haven't yes. forgotten you. We met a long time ago, and uh, you were, or you've been a rep for a long time. Twelve years. Wow, that's a long time. But um, anyway, you, you've got a marijuana cookbook <laughs> over here. Um, I would like to tell you that for the last 12 or 14 years, I got elected in 2000 as a state rep from Cheshire County, and I have voted against marijuana. Yesterday, I went to a marijuana place in Portland, Maine, and had a, a three-hour tour of the place. I had no idea that marijuana was specifically grown for glaucoma, ADD, uh, prostate cancer, lung cancer, what, you know, different, it just absolutely blew me away. Uh, when the people came, um, that now HIPAA laws make uh, regular patients stand back while the other patient is at the counter. So I got permission to talk to every single patient that was in line. And these people told me how their life had been improved drastically. You're allowed the doctor sets how many marijuana uh, if you cannot smoke it and and there's no tar they said that gets in your lungs. Uh, they have drops that you put under your tongue. If you um, are going to cook with it they have packaged cake and brownie mixes with the marijuana already in it. So what you're saying is you're comfortable with med medical marijuana now. Right. And you weren't before? I, I was not because... But has this changed your thinking? Well, the caregivers about in... Um, the last bill in New Hampshire, the caregiver could have 56 plants. Well, I was not comfortable with that. Here in, in Maine, um, the caregivers can have six plants. So you're still against uh, just general marijuana decrim. Right, but but the way it, it helped these patients, it was unbelievable. One concern that I have, though, is if it's not decriminalized, and that means that people Well, that's who, the federal government Well, it's, it's still criminal at the state level, too, and if, it's, if, it, if that remains that way, then people are going to be reluctant to turn themselves into this registered program, right? Because they're giving a government a database of all the medical marijuana users. Um, but in, in Maine, the legislation is written that they cannot be prosecuted. Well, <laughs> well see all kinds of bad things happen to people who can't be prosecuted. Uh, well, that's just what I was told. Yeah. So I, I don't know. But um, I, had to, I bought two cookbooks, and a young man that was um, a patient had to sign because they wouldn't even sell me a cookbook. I see. And um, careful. so yeah. I brought this back because we're going to hear the marijuana bill next week. All right. And uh, I brought these back, and they're very interesting. Well, thanks for kind of looking, you know, firsthand at what's going on and for keeping well, it open. Well, I, I will change my vote. I will vote for the marijuana bill this year. Um, it is so well regulated. Each. Uh, license that they get from the state is fifteen thousand dollars and this clinic where we were yesterday had four licenses. Yep. and uh, I talked to a man with glaucoma and he said that I, I don't have it I don't know much about it but he said the eye pressure just was excruciating and which by smoking marijuana he has no more pain yeah, an effect on vessels. so and then I talked to several cancer patients and um, it eliminated their vomiting and, and their nausea. And so I thought, you know, if it does that much good, we really need to look at this again. So I'm I'm very much in favor of it now. All right. Well, okay. Susan, I appreciate your time. Thanks. You take care out there. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. No. Can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast 
all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at lrn.fm to listen or broadcast their signal. lrn.fm Feds don't want you to hear them.